Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from BJ Tech News Productions. So this is actually the last part of my whole turn off and on GUI, going back to Core and then going back to the GUI with Windows Server 2012. On this, <coughs> sorry guys, uh, on this one I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the GUI using PowerShell, which is that's what Windows Server 2012 is built on on PowerShell. So why not learn it? So what I'm going to do is I am going to start PowerShell up. And I'm going to show you the command that you have to use. So it's going to be remove dash windows feature server GUI shell space server actually space server GUI MGMT which is management and infrastructure. Make, make sure I spell it right because the last video I didn't spell it right and I got an error. So we're going to hit enter. If everything goes well, it's going to start collecting data. It's going to start removing this stuff. Again, uh, once it removes, you need to restart your machine. So I'm going to show you guys how to restart uh, your machine with a command. So we are back. So again, you're going to get the warning that you need to restart the server to finish the removal process. So it's the same command as the part two where the, we, you know, we needed to restart the server. So it's a shutdown, uh, dash R, dash R is the attribute to restart, dash T is the timer and we want zero because we want to do it right away. It's going to restart, it's going to take a while but I'm going to leave you guys from here because once it restarts and reboots you're going to have the core version and you're good to go. Now uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please uh, comment, please give me thumbs up, please Twitter it, please Facebook it, and i catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.